Welcome. In this video, we'll see the addressing modes present in 8051. So addressing mode is the way by which the operands are accessed in the instruction. So two operands are there, source operand and destination operand. And there is a way of accessing these operands and these operands are accessed and used in the instruction. So there are different modes uh, like immediate addressing mode, register addressing mode, direct addressing mode, indirect addressing mode, indexed uh, addressing mode and finally implied addressing mode. So we'll see uh, one more uh, uh, with an example. So uh, the instruction format uh, for the 8051 controller is as follows. So it is having a mnemonic, uh, then we have destination operand, then we have source operand. So this destination operand and source operand are the are, uh, can be different uh, registers or it can be a direct address or it can be a immediate data. So the opcode for 8051 is of 8 bits so or it is of 1 byte. Then for for uh, developing an instruction we need an opcode and the source operand and destination operand. So together it uh, forms a instruction. So if source of source or destination operand contains direct address then the instruction will be of 2 bytes because 1 byte will be required for opcode and 1 byte will be required for the source or destination operand which is having a direct address. Then if the source uh, and destination operand contains a direct address or immediate data then the instruction will be of 3 bytes. That is because the instruction will have one opcode which is of uh, 1 byte then one uh, direct data will be there which will be of uh, one byte and there can be another direct uh, address or there can be an immediate data which is going to have one byte so total three byte will be there for representing the instruction one thing to note here is that the uh, immediate operand immediate data cannot be uh, placed in destination operand location it has to be always placed in source operand location so destination operand can be a direct address source operand can be a direct address immediate data should also always be at source operand location so the first one is immediate addressing mode so in this uh, the example uh, first example is move a comma hash 0 f 2 hex so this hash symbol indicates that whatever value we have mentioned after hash symbol that is that value is a data so that data will be copied to accumulator so in this case whenever in any instruction we have hash symbol it means that it is going to have immediate data and that instruction is of immediate addressing mode next is register addressing mode in this uh, both the operands that is source operand and destination operand are registers so for example move r0 comma a so here both source as well as destination operands are registers like r0 is destination operand and a is uh, source operand so here in all these instructions both the operands are registers here tmod is the timer sfr which is a register and accumulator is also register so both the operands are registers but one thing to note here is again that the instruction move rn comma rm is invalid instruction so we cannot have both the operands that is source operand and destination operand as any of the general purpose registers so we can have only one operand as general purpose register at a time we cannot have both the operands that is source and destination operands as registers then next is direct addressing mode in this again the example is move a comma 67 hex so here uh, the value 67 hex is called as address because there is no hash symbol if hash symbol is there then it is a data but here there is no hash symbol so it is treated as a address it is called as direct addressing mode so this address is of the internal ram memory so uh, 67 hex is the internal ram location uh, similarly the next instruction is move 34 hex comma 67 hex here again both the operands that is source operand and destination operand are direct addresses of the memory here again move 44 hex comma r1 this is the direct address so it is a instruction of direct addressing mode next is indirect addressing mode uh, here again we are going to use some of the registers as pointers so these registers will point to the memory location from where we want to access the data or where we want to store the data for example here this second instruction that is move a comma at the rate r0 this in, in this instruction 
accumulator is the destination operand and at the rate r0 is the source operand so the meaning of this at the rate is that we are going to use r0 as a pointer so whenever we want to use r0 as a pointer we have to first of all initialize that so to do that we have used this instruction move r0 comma hash 33 so in this case we want to access the memory location 33 hex so that value or that data must be first of all copied to r0 only then r0 will be able to point to that memory location so uh, this is an example of indirect addressing mode instruction uh, then next instruction is move 20 hex comma at the rate r0 here the destination is 20 hex that is the ram memory location and the source operand is at the rate r0 means r0 is going to point to some memory location and that will be treated as the operand or the source operand next instruction is move at the rate r0 comma hash 44 now in this instruction also we have both the things that is at the rate symbol as well as hash symbol but still this does not come in uh, immediate addressing mode that is because whenever we want to use this instruction at that time we have to first of all initialize this pointer only then we can use this instruction so uh, that's why this is instruction is of indirect addressing mode next is indexed addressing mode in this again these two instructions are available for indexed addressing mode here move c a comma at the rate a plus dptr is the first instruction and move c a comma at the rate a plus pc is the second instruction here move c stands for code memory so whenever we want to access the data from code memory at that time we have to use this instruction move c and the meaning of this instruction is that whenever we want to access sequential locations from the memory at that time we have to give the base address so generally the base address is stored in this dptr register or in pc register and this a is used as an index so index is nothing but the offset from the given base address so this a will have generally the offset address so when these two are added together it will form a new address and from that location the data will be copied to accumulator and c stands for code memory so these are the indexed addressing mode instructions and finally we have implied addressing mode in this the operand that is the destination operand or the source operand are not available the operand is implied means these instructions can have only accumulator as the operand any other register cannot be used as a operand in these instructions so first instruction is rla so which is used for rotating the value present in accumulator to the left then this is uh, used for rotating the value present in accumulator to left through carry and finally we have swap a so all these instructions use only accumulator as an operand we cannot use any other register as an operand so that's why these instructions are part of implied addressing mode thank you in the next lecture we'll see the instructions of 8051 thank you